It is now 2021. This video is a little old, so let's make a new one. This video will show you, I guess, the information about lag switches. I mean, not really much has changed. You can still make your own at home or you can buy one from someone that made it at their house. Either way, it's a lag switch. I know some of you will very much dislike this video, but the truth is lag switches are very easy to make. They're very easy to afford. If you can't make one, you just go buy one. So this video is to help, I guess, set it up to make it work correctly for you. I mean, granted, they all are tested before they're shipped, so they all work. It's just making it work for you. I just want to make a note. I know I do make this note in the video, but a lag switch is connected to your network. You will lag. You can disconnect if you hold it too long. It's a lag switch. Very simple to use. So enjoy the video. Here we have a momentary lag switch and a toggle lag switch. Now some of you have no idea what the difference between the two is. This is a momentary lag switch. You see, it's a button, just like a key on a keyboard. You only works when you press it down. This is a toggle lag switch. It only works when you flip it, just like most light switches. So we are going to test each one here. This verifies that they work. You see the lights light up. And if I press the button here, that light turns off. That means this lag switch works. And it only works when you have it held down. This, the toggle lag switch, same thing. All lights turn on. You flip the switch light turns off. So this works when it's in the on position. When it's in the off position, it's a normal cable. That's the difference between momentary and toggle. And also that is how they are tested to make sure that they work before they are shipped. Let's talk about what this is. This is a coupler for a internet cable also called ethernet cable, straight through cable. Basically a device used to connect two cables together. It's a coupler, has two RJ45 plugs on each end. If you didn't know, this is a RJ45 plug. And this wire currently is straight through. As you can see, both ends are the same color order. They are straight through. Now this device is optional, not meant for you. According to the item pictures, this is the setup. This is the coupler right in the middle of the screen. That device is optional, you don't need it. If for some reason your lag switch is too far away from the network switch or the router, then you will need a coupler and a straight through cable such as this one I have sitting off to the side right here. This is only a three footer. Let's say it's short by three foot. So then you take your lag switch wire, plug it into one end, plug it into the other end. There, now your lag switch is longer and you can plug it into the network switch or the router. Okay, right now we're going to talk about the proper network setup for your lag switch. Now, as you can see by this setup, the lag switch is in your network. Thus, the end device will be affected by the lag switch. This is a modem. I happen to have cable internet, so I have to have a modem to be able to convert the signal into a signal that the router can understand. But if you have something like DSL, you could have just this. This actually happens to be a modem router combo because the place I used to live at I had DSL so I had a modem router combo because the one they include is crap so I bought my own but currently the modem part is disabled and I am using it strictly as a router so the next to it I have the network switch that is not the little guy on top the little one on top is a PoE injector nothing to do with the Uralax switch setup 
but this network switch is a 24 port network switch yes there's a lot plugged into it but normally I would plug the lag switch into here and then into here the only problem with doing that I would lag all devices connected to it and I do not want to do that so instead I have the network the lag switch plugged into the cable that goes over to my consoles and then I have another network switch over there here we have the other network switch that I have it is a eight port network switch it is on the other side of the room where the consoles are at as you see there is a double pink booted cable back there so I can identify it that one is the internet from the other network switch so if I want to add a lag switch to this I would unplug that one put the coupler on it and then plug the lag switch into the, this network switch and then that way all those three wires no four wires there all those four wires would then lag each respective console that's connected to it now obviously I only use one console at a time so it, it doesn't matter if I affect one or all of them because I'm only using one so but it is very important to have a network switch before your console as they're voltage detectors so as soon as you hit a lag switch the light on the network switch will turn off as the voltage dropped so if you do that to a council you will disconnect the network switch is kind of like a buffer it provides power to the council so the council thinks that an ethernet cable is always connected and it doesn't disconnect you immediately now if you had the lag switch on too long it will disconnect you no matter what or if for some reason that network switch takes too long to reconnect it can also disconnect you so the total lag time is the time the switch is on plus the time the network switch takes to reconnect if you go too long you will disconnect no matter what it really doesn't matter what your lag switch is plugged into as long as you don't plug it into the modem never do that unless cattail in the way unless it's a modem router combo then obviously there's more ports in there but just make sure you plug it into one of the outboard ports and not the inboard port because otherwise you will lag the router and you will not lag the network switch you lag the router then you will cut out internet every single time you flip the switch or press the button so just make sure the lag switch is connected between the router and a network switch or like me between two network switches because I don't want to lag everything on that network switch now if you're like most people your router also has Wi-Fi if you're also like some people your console is connected to Wi-Fi so that's I've never advised to play on Wi-Fi I've always advised against it unless you have to however a lag switch is a cable it is not Wi-Fi you cannot use a lag switch with Wi-Fi so you will need to go to your console go to the internet settings the Wi-Fi settings and delete them then you have to configure it for LAN so basically when you plug all the cables in it turns on that that's what happened to me at least that you know you plug everything in, it turned on you don't have to configure anything or at least you shouldn't have to configure everything you might have to tell the system oh use LAN now you might have to do that but other than that LAN should be pretty much plug and play it is easier than Wi-Fi also if you have for some reason I've seen some people run a second wire between let's say their router and their network switch and then they also have the lag switch running between the router and the network switch well that second cable completely bypasses the lag switch so I I don't know why some people do that I've, I've heard them do it before please don't do that please have a single cable the lag switch running between your modem and your network switch or if you're like me your network switch and your network switch okay so we made it to the end of the video well almost I just want to quick summarize everything up and go over everything real quick you have a modem that's how you get your internet you have a modem some people say they don't have a modem you have a modem or you would not be online then you have a router 
It could be a modem router combo. It could be just a router. Either way, you have a router. Plug the lag switch into your router, and then you go to your network switch. And then from your network switch, you take a standard straight through ethernet cable, plug it into your network switch, and plug it into your console. Make sure that the console is on LAN and not Wi-Fi. Otherwise, you'll bypass everything. The router is the first, the lag switch is the second, the network switch is the third. Okay, so number two and three and everything else past it cannot affect the router is the first one. So if for some reason you use your lag switch and the router disconnects, it means that router is not number one. I'm not including the modem in this because we all have it. It's always there. You can't really plug stuff into it and make it work. You have to have a router. So the router is number one I'm counting as. Now from your network switch to your console, you want to make sure you're using a straight through cable. That is a cable when both color orders are exactly the same. That is straight through. If you use anything else, you could have a problem. And again, a lag switch is connected to your network your network not someone else's when you use your lag switch on your network you will affect yourself you can freeze yourself it all depends on how their servers are set up how those servers handle lag because there is lag anywhere you go just everything has latency you're just adding more to it so it all depends on how those servers handle lag i want to make a note your internet speed has 100% nothing to do with the lag switch. It doesn't matter how fast you can download data.